Okay, this is hunting for purple street lights in Kansas City, video of like 150 or so. Um, this is gonna be redundant, but I actually wanna go over the same area that I've already seen with purple street lights. Now that I know that up here, they don't have purple street lights up here. All the way up to freaking the Kansas River, guys. They don't have them. They don't have them um, anywhere south of the area I'm gonna show you, all the way down to like 127th Street. They don't have them on the east side, or I'm sorry, the west side of uh, Route 7. They don't even have them until like Woodland Drive, guys. They're very, very rare up here in Olathe. Anyway, actually this might not technically be Olathe, but the area that we're gonna look at is still technically Olathe. Um, they put them where they put them on freaking purpose within the same city and they like to put them in dead ends when they're inside of residential areas and they mark areas for visibility from the air the most obvious area that they mark areas for visibility from the air for though is the area I'm gonna show you if there's any doubt in your mind I hope there's not that they're marking this out an evac route where we're gonna go look I have um, I did multiple videos to show you before because I had them in little half hour segments and I didn't know what it looked like yet. Now that I know what it looks like and where the areas are with the purple street lights, I'm gonna drive and, and go look at each and every one of those purple street lights that I have on the map and I'll show you the map here in a little bit. Also, I wanna know if they change them because I've seen them change things and if they were gonna change something, I would expect them to possibly change those if they didn't think anybody else knew about it before that to gaslight me, but we'll see. We'll see if they're there. It, there was a light that was off here. I'm gonna go to the right to show you some of the ones that are in the north part of the region. One of these lights is off, by the way. Oh, we gotta take a right prematurely here, okay. Those lights are still off there, so I don't have a way of knowing if those are purple street lights, guys. They're kind of in the same area as they would normally have purple street lights. Okay. So eventually we will see a purple street light here, and I think this is on Valley Parkway. We crossed underneath Route 10. This light pair is off for some reason right here. Visually, it doesn't look very purple, okay? It's like a mildly purple light, but on camera, it should probably show up better, right here on the right side. Okay? Then over here, we've already looked in this neighborhood. They have uh, orange lights over here. So turning around here, I'm gonna quick look at the um, computer here and I'll show you where we are. We are like right here. That purple light that we just saw is right there. What I wanna do next is go over to here and look in these dead ends. There's one there, one there. Well, actually, these are no outlights, but these little areas right here, I'm gonna show you in this same video that those are all there. And also I'm gonna go down here and show you these in these areas here. And there's also one over there. The most interesting thing about this is if you look, you keep zooming out. Look, 
besides these right here look there are none there are none in this whole area they put them right here if this is for the air guys it's to mark this as an evacuation route out of here besides this right here where, what else do they have guys you can't get out there are no roads over here they're marking that that's important so I'm gonna prove that in this video in one single video okay Because I did it in 113 and 114, I proved it. In um, 115, um, I showed areas south of there, all the way down to where College Boulevard is, and they didn't have any. In other videos before that, I showed you some of the other areas, and then, like, I don't know, I'm trying to remember when the video started that I went up north of Route 10. Like 120 something, and then like 130s, I showed you, they don't have them up there all the way up to the Kansas River okay so this is shadow circle these are yellowish they don't have any there this is 102nd Street It'll curve to the left here. Okay, then there's shadow circle to the right. Then there's one of the purple street lights. In fact, I will turn into here to show this to you. This is one of them. They still have it. And the date is August 24th, 2023. They still have this light here. That corresponds to that second one from the top and the left, right there. I'm gonna zoom in on this map a little bit, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna go look at the next one, which is just to the left here pretty soon. So this is the first one we saw in video, I think 113. Video 113 started out here. So, then taking a left here. And then a right. There's like a second little circle here. So, that was a circle there, and there's also a circle right here. We have another purple street light right here. See this? So that's the second one, or I, maybe you should say the third one, including the one that I showed you about five minutes ago or whatever it was. You might have even just seen the second one just over there a moment ago when I was doing this little circle. All right, so now we're gonna go to the third one. And this is at, it says Shadow Circle. They all probably say South Shadow Circle, which isn't very helpful. And um, South Shadow something. Okay, so looking at the map here again, We first looked at that one, then we looked at that one, and then we just looked at that one in that little second little circle there. Now we're gonna go over, I'm gonna show you these two. I have already looked down there and stuff in other videos. I just wanna actually also see for myself whether they wanted to change these lights really badly or what. And I guess they haven't changed them yet, which is just fine with me because that's proof that they're marking these areas for the air. Okay, so that's that one light that we just saw. This is Green Tree. They told us that's it's a factory defect. There's no conspiracies, guys. Yeah, bullshit. Bullshit. They don't want to tell us about what they're there for. 
You notice that there are other lights here though, right? There are other lights. They're hiding those lights specifically in the dead ends. They're still visible from the air by an evac route again, which is Route 10. This one is very blue. I put this as very purple, I guess. It just doesn't have uh, as many LEDs on it as some of the other lights. And there aren't a lot of other lights around it to make it look like it's a shadow compared to the other lights. I think there is a question in my mind about what it was, or whether it was or wasn't before. But yeah, I'd say that's very purple, bluish. This one, in fact, though, if anything, might be kind of a, I don't know, it's even a medium one here. This is not quite as blue as the other one. But this, again, this is actually fewer LEDs. So I don't know. It's, this is very purple. Okay, so we've seen these two lights. We've seen all four lights in the in this neighborhood here. We just saw that one right there, that one, that one, that one. And we've already saw that one at the beginning. Now I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna show you the other ones. I'm gonna show you the other ones down here. So when it gets to 103rd, I gotta turn and go and then turn and we'll look at those other lights. Back end of Valley Parkway or whatever this is. I think it's Valley Parkway. That east west kind of road. We've already looked in these no outlets to the right here. They have orange lights over there. Maybe a video 130 or something like that. Cedar Creek. I think this is where we're going to take it right here. And this is that, oh, wait. Yeah, Cedar Niles Boulevard, which is also on third.
Okay, so taking a right here, it says Glenview Lane. Notice there are other lights here, right? There still are other lights. Those aren't just like the only ones they just happen to go to a bad bathroom over here. No guys, they put these lights up specifically in the dead ends. Understand that. See that? On purpose guys, absolutely on purpose. They want to distract you though. They want to tell you, oh, it's a factory de defect. It's not on purpose. They're equivocating the word on purpose. They purposely put them here. That's intentional. Intentional. Do you guys see that? That's called, some people that's called switching and baiting about like the real question that people would want to look at. Some people call it a red herring though because it's distracting from one of the real questions and it's also at the same time though is equivocating not on purpose because not on purpose was in the factory when they were originally made but they kept making them anyway for some reason which you got to really wonder and a lot of discoveries were serendipitous anyway where they didn't know the result of something but they mixed something with something else and it made something happen and they're like oh well that's really cool let's use that well that's that would they would still be saying that that's not on purpose guys possibly too Okay, there's one of the purple lights. There's also one to the left, though, already that we went past that um, I didn't show you, that I'll show you in a little bit. I'm just going counterclockwise here through the dead ends. Okay, here we go. Here's a really, really freaking blue one, guys. Like, as blue as they get, right here. On purpose at the end of this, okay? So don't tell me that they didn't, they never tested it and they didn't know and they put it up and this one just happened to be defective. It's not even the same LED light as these, not even the same kind of light as these other lights, by the way. That's an LED panel light but the one I just saw that we just drove under and this one over here are not LED panel lights. They purposely did what they did. You cannot deny that. So don't tell me that they're just a factory defect. One of those bots that wants to comment on somebody else's comment on my videos. Yeah, fuck off, guys. There, those are real. Okay, there's the other one up there that I showed you already. Um... There is another one somewhere. Actually, wait, maybe there's not one, there's not one here. Okay, that's right, forgot about that. This one is not one. Um, it's got a little, one of these lights has a freaking uh, cover on it. So it looks like kind of yellowish colored. It's like got a little some reason it's like it kind of focuses the light I don't know why and this this one's light this light is now on by the way and that light is now on there was a light that was off before I actually annotated that information I'm pretty sure that other light was off you can check my video they turned it on so they checked my videos guys they've already seen my video and they already changed that light. They don't want to change these other lights. To the right here. Here is a purple light right here. And how many other how many real people get to see it? That's what I'm that's what I I'm I get pissed off because the people who set this up, they get to see the videos and they get to change things, but other people don't get to see it. Well, I'm tired of your goddamn censorship. And eventually I think people are gonna do something about it if you don't change it. Because I don't know what else you guys are censoring and what, I already see some of what you guys got planned and it's not funny anymore. 
Americans need to really be Americans and say, hey, we're done with your damn censorship. We're done with you stopping us from being able to share things and using your little strategies and stuff like that. Freaking flooding our social media with ads and stuff like that. And I mean, in my case, they freaking, I couldn't even see who all my friends were on Facebook anymore. What if I wanted to unfriend somebody, like a bot or something like that even? And when I tried to go through to figure out what it kept, how it kept shuffling him, because that shuffled him each time too. Why not just, I, I, you know, maybe I want to see him in alphabetical order. Um, I don't know if that was an option back then, but I would have expected myself to use that if that was an option for me. And when I got through, when I did three attempts at, at doing snapshots to see what order they were in and what was there, it changed and it went up to like almost all the number of friends I had except for like five of them. And I was like, what the frick? So I still couldn't, I couldn't prove anything and I still couldn't see all my friends on Facebook. I'm getting tired of their shit, guys. It's not funny anymore. They have way too much power. They shouldn't have that much power. There's nothing over there. And then it might be here that they have the other one. I want, if you see this video, I doubt you're somebody that would really do anything about it though. It's, it's, I don't know. Bunch of crap. You know, people have made, I don't know, I've even heard about people trying to make websites for their businesses, right? And having a problem getting it set up and hiring somebody and going through a bunch of crap, guys. Why? It's just a different kind of censorship, guys. That's It's the same thing. They control what happens. They want more control, and eventually, if they don't do something uh, catastrophic when they do it, to keep people in cities, which would basically also depopulate, if they don't do that, I think it's gonna be uh, your communication. You won't be able to have any communication with people outside your city as soon as they say Russia freaking attacked our grid or something like that. If you're stuck in your city, you won't be able to go to another place to talk to anybody. Okay, I got a little bit lost on this one here. Let's see. I didn't look at the map though, which I should have. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna pull over to the right side here and I don't know if I'm at the right place or what. We're going the right direction, let's see. 109th Terrace. at the end of 107th, 107th Street. Okay, so we are, where are we? Okay, I don't even know where 109th is. Oh, but, but that road is Glenview, I guess. So let's see. Or Highland. Maybe that's Highland. Alright, anyway, in any case, I gotta turn around. So let's just turn around. Oh, it says Glenview right there. Alright, I don't know how I got over here, guys, but we're going back. I meant to show you all in one smooth little thing, but. Guess that didn't quite happen. This is 109th Street. Or Terrace. Or this is the street here. Okay, let's keep going. Let's 
Cedar Niles Drive, okay, well, a circle, okay. I think it was Cedar Niles, I mean, okay. Mm. Okay, it's in here, so we gotta take a left. None to the right. I already checked that. Seven, and then we gotta take it probably the next left that we can take here. Okay, this is not it. Okay, I hate that. Okay, so we gotta turn around. We didn't go in here because I don't know if we can. It's a good community. But I just see orange lights. Okay, it should be. Okay, the one that says 107 is what this should be. Okay, so if we take a left over here. So on the map, oh okay, this is a little circle, that's annoying. Okay, we're at 107th Street and 107th Street here, okay? Which means we are right. We're right here. 107th and 107th. If you look in, if you can see that sign, I don't know if you can see that. There's 107th on both of those. We gotta go over to there. So that shouldn't be too difficult. I should be able to just take it right and keep going. Alright, here we go. And we got this light right here okay so I've shown you those lights actually there should be another one at a hundred and it's like 108th street 108th street at a dead end Let's see. yep okay 
So right now we are right there. We looked at that one. We've already seen these other lights in the dead ends, these other four. Now I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna show you that that's there. I want a video where I have one video proving where those things are. So we're going over there. And I proved to you that they keep putting them at the end so they're hard to find. But they're still from the air for something up there they can still see it and those use a blue spectrum right that blue spectrum would scatter better than the other light and when it gets up into the atmosphere so even if it's not directly seen by it that light can even go at more angles when it gets up there if it's close enough it could still see it all right so I'm gonna take a take a left and then I'm gonna take a left again two lefts okay that's Cedar Niles oh no I thought it was somewhere else. Never mind. That's good. How did I not see that right? Okay. So I'm going to take a left here up to where we're going to go over by basically 103rd Street. not showing you here in one video is that they don't put the lights anywhere else but I have proven that in multiple videos you have to look at all the videos to prove it to yourself or just drive around and look for them because they're not gonna be anywhere else unless all of a sudden they put them up okay so now we're gonna take a right and then we gotta take a left at 108 probably this one right here very next one over here make him in the same area guys there we go right here they haven't changed it against the sky that doesn't look very blue that looks fucking blue to me that's really funny okay well you can kind of see how it's blue there look how freaking blue this stuff is and the shadow like if I put a shadow like right here I've proven to you that that's a freaking blue light maybe this will actually there it's lame right now because the sky is competing with competing for blue color and for the camera it tries to normalize it for that volume of color I guess but that thing is freaking blue so there you go I'm not sure what else um, I can prove to you here besides going down every street and showing you that they don't have any more here which I'm not going to do in this video because it won't, I won't even be able to get through everything before it's too light out. So, um, from here, I'm going to take a right. And actually, that's all I'm going to show you in this video, I think, because I don't think that there's any point looking anywhere else now um, for what I wanted to show you here. So, that's it. Uh, actually, though, I'll show you, though, our way all the way up to the main road so you can see that. Cedar Niles Boulevard.
right, so this is Cedar Creek Parkway. I'm going to stop this now.